This is a sound wave. We hear countless numbers of them every day through music, traffic, and getting yelled at by parents. But when the frequency of the sound wave is greater than 20 kilohertz, it's known as ultrasound. Humans can't hear ultrasound, but if we could, it would shatter all of our organs and we wouldn't hear anything ever again. With that in mind, what if I told you ultrasound was the future of medicine? In 2015, Srikanth Chalasani pioneered using ultrasonic waves to stimulate specific groups of genetically marked cells. He dubbed this innovation sonogenetics, sonogenetics, sonogenetics. Now, originally, Chalasani tested this on the roundworm Caenorhoptitis elegans because it had a cell surface receptor, TRP4, that was responsive to ultrasound. The ultrasound's activation of TRP4 caused a mechanical response known as cavitation, which altered the cell's electrical properties by activating and inhibiting ion channels, giving Chalasani control over the neuronal response. But here's the catch. The TRP4 gene is incompatible with mammalian cells, meaning human cells can't respond to ultrasound, kind of like how in football the quarterback can't make a play if there is no receiver. For years, sonogenetics was useless to humans until in 2021, scientists finally discovered a channel protein known as TRPA1 that is compatible with human cells and activates in response to ultrasonic waves. This mechanosensitive receptor is perfect for using sound to enhance organ systems function. So now we have the ultimate medical tool, right? Wrong. It gets a little bit controversial. When a doctor wants to ultrasonically stimulate a group of cells, those cells need to be genetically modified with CRISPR gene therapy to contain TRPA1. This angers many groups because of the high chance of causing accidental mutations. On the other hand, some groups argue that sonogenetics can treat devastating neurodegenerative diseases like Parkinson's by ultrasonically stimulating synaptic connections without surgery. So what is the future of this innovation? Time will tell. Sonogenetics goes by several other names, ultrasonic neuromodulation, neuroacoustics, and ultrasound-induced genetic manipulation. But I like to call it the sound of medicine.